Hey Pete, Pixie Poison welcomes you back to part 11 of Sam and the Sorcerer 2. And we've just received a welding torch from a very similar lookalike to Mr. T. So, that's always interesting. Right, now we're going to find a use for it. So, what we need to do is... What, what do we need? Stop pissing about, Simon. Come on. Right. There's somewhere we need to use it. Um, let's see. What do I need to do? Ah, that's it. I think that's. I think that's it. Anyway, use use the welding torch on that. Hey, what? What do you think you're doing? Um. Uh, just checking the door cap. Keep away from this door, boy, or else. No problem. Go. Don't need to tell us twice. Right. We need to make sure he won't be coming out again. Because we need to get in there. So, let's see. We need. I think. Do we use the. I think we use the plank. Not. Is it the plank or the hammer or the nails? I ain't sure. But anyway. He definitely came out of that door, didn't he? I hope I'm nailing up the right door here. <laughs> Should be good. Right. Take two. Welding torch on chain. There it is. Right. Let's nab it, shall we? Okay. Now, just got to figure out how the hell to get back to the island. Now, let me see. Right, where are we now? Now, I know we need to go up to the crow's nest, so we need to find some kind of rigging that we can climb. Ah, there we are. Rigging. Climb up the rigging. There we go. Now, yeah, we need to use the postcard on this guy's telescope. Exactly, is that supposed to achieve? Sorry, I thought he was holding the telescope. I do apologise. Where do we put it then? Which? Hmm. A bit confused now, peeps, because. Telescopes, but doesn't seem to. Huh. Let's look at the nest boy. He's fast asleep. Ah, oh, there. Right. There. Whoa, that telescope is tiny. Huh. Right, anyway, let's get back down. Now I know we need to talk to a guy with a parrot on his shoulder. I th think it's the bosun, I think. There. I think he's up here. But he's got a parrot on his shoulder anyway. There we go. There's his parrot. I'll talk to his parrot. Talk to his Excuse parrot. Excuse me. Talk to him, you rather. You must be the new cabin boy. Mm hmm. 
And you must be the one who steers the ship? Not really. I just do what the parrot says. The parrot? So it tells you where to go, does it? It's the latest thing in high-tech, state-of-the-art pirate technology. It's been specially trained by the druids to always point north. Mm. You mean like a compass? How did you know that? Oh, just a wild guess. <laughs> it takes all the fun out of helming. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I suppose it saves all the mucking about with star charts. I didn't mind that. I mean, I wasn't totally accurate or anything, but I was definitely getting better. Now all I have to do is look at a map, consult the parrot, and go. Well, I'd love to stay and chat, but uh, I've got a whole ship to clean by nightfall. Okay, <laughs> but make sure you get this deck done. Yeah, right. Now, what we want to do, we want to use the other parrot with this one, the stuffed one. That way he won't know where the hell he's going. Oops. What's that? A Pentium Parrot. A what? It's a new model. It's got all the latest upgrades. Local beak, genuine lintel feathers, Cracker Co processor. It's the appliance of science. But we only just got the old one. You gotta move with the times though, eh? I suppose so. But why is it falling off its perch? Just got to set up its big BIOS. Okay then. Right, now we need something to stick it with, so we need to use the swamp gum to make it stick. And I think if we exit after this, that should be it. I think. Let's see. Turning round. Now uh -huh. all I have to do is sit back until we arrive home. Well, that's good. Yeah, I think that's it now. There we go. Meanwhile, I wonder oh. where Diamond is, Grandfather. He's been gone for hours. Don't worry, my dear. I'm sure he's perfectly safe. Whoa. Who the hell are these guys? Ugly mofos, We've that's for sure. Way. Okay, yeah, and you better hand him over, right? Or there will be trouble. With a capital T. You got that? Oh dear, He's and they're from here. Brooklyn. Look, Mac, we know the wizard is here, right? Just hand him over, and don't try any funny business, okay? Oh. Resistance is not a good idea. That's right. Not for you, anyway. I'm telling you, he's not here. Well, we is gonna search the place, see? We find him, then we might just let you and the coil go. Notice, he said might. Otherwise, otherwise what? Just pray it don't happen. Let's do it. Later that day. Oh dear. That does not seem good. Why is nothing ever simple? Looks like another ship. I wonder if they're friendly. <laughs> yeah. Real friendly. Days later. So friendly they sank your boat. Oh. And I've lost all my inventory. Boo. Well, except the postcard, which somehow kept dry. <laughs> My inventory. Eh, that's what I just said. Anyway, there's something to put in our inventory. Do it right there. The shovel head. <laughs> right. Now, let's go exploring, shall we? Oh, hello. That's our mucus aid. Hey! You appear to have found something of mine. 
I've just been shipwrecked, you see, and I... He isn't listening to me. <laughs> it would seem that there is to be no reasoning with this guy. Hmm. Let's try again. That's right, stand Excuse in his me. path. Look, pal. I'm usually totally against violence on the ground that I'm not very good at it. However, unless you return that which is mine fairly sharpish, I will not be held responsible for my actions. Ooh. Please can I have my mucus aid back? Please, please, please! It's not yours! Eh? What? I said... It's not yours. Yes, it is. Once it gets washed up here, it becomes mine. But it's very simple. But excuse me. Something must be done about this. Hmm. I agree. First, I want that towel. One, because we need it. And two, because it just happens to be a nice color. Now. I want to venture into the jungle now. It's Ooh. him again. <laughs> How did he get I here? I think he wants the balloon. Ah. Oh. All right. First, I need that pole. No, the the pole. The pole. Damn it. Ugh. The pole, Simon. That's right. Thank you. Now, the balloon. It might upset the kid too much if I took it. Okay, well, give the balloon to him then. Hey, kid, would you like that balloon? Yes. <laughs> I think he would. Quite the little chatterbox, isn't he? Ah. Oh. I'll take that as a yes. Well, that's nice. He gave us a shell. Eat your heart out, Phileas Fogg. <laughs> nice. That's nice. Anyway, right. Now then, what we want, we want to go into... Where is it? Now, ah, there we go. The cave. That's right. Exactly, is that supposed to achieve? All right, I used the wrong icon, Simon. I was meant to use the icon. What the hell's your ah. game? Hey, I'm on holiday. Didn't you get the message on the answering machine? Uh, no peace. I get no bloody peace at all. Oh, I should have listened to my mother. What did your mother say? What she said was, don't get a job in the public sector, Keith. You'll never hear the end of it. He? You got a problem with that? No, 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 no stereotypical anorak image attached to it at all. Good. <laughs> now, how can I help you? Why are you living in a whiskey bottle? Why are you living in a whiskey bottle? It's affordable and roomy. Plus there's the added bonus that it's full of whiskey. <laughs> Definitely a favourite in non-corporal entity magazine. Anything else I can help you with? Give us three wishes. You could say you've got three wishes, Master. I could. But that might be a bit of a problem at the moment. Why is that? You may have observed that I am currently living in a whiskey bottle. Mm -hmm. Consequently, I'm not feeling totally at my best re-wish granting. Uh -huh. One might say you're more like a gin e. Surely whiskey e would be more appropriate. Ugh. Anyway, I'm making no guarantees. What do you want? Hmm. Well, we shall decide what we want, peeps, in the next video. So, see you there.